and welcome to another UMake tutorial. This is the second tutorial in the how to create a rat rod in UMake series. My name is Nico and in this tutorial what we're going to do is clean up the wheels that we created in part one and then we're going to do a rough outline of how we want the rat rod to look. So let's jump right into it. To clean up the wheels I have these little curves that I drew in order to split the surface and make the white wall tires. Just going to come in here, make sure symmetry is on, and come in here and just select these two little curves that we drew and erase them on either side of the wheels. So I'll erase those two. With symmetry on, it'll take care of both sides. So erase this as well. This is grouped. Ungroup that if you group that at all. So erase. And do the same thing. There we go. So now our wheels are cleaned up. And from here, I'm going to go to the front view. I'm going to tap and hold right about here. And this is going to create a sketch plane. Maybe put it a little closer to the wheels. There we go. This is going to create a sketch plane. And what that means is as I orbit around, you'll see I have a plane that I can sketch on like this. But if I keep orbiting, that plane pivots. And what this does is it offsets a plane so it's uh, closer to the wheels that I can sketch on. So I'm going to go to the side view here and the first thing I'm going to do is draw the bottom of the vehicle. This will just kind of help uh, give it some stance. So I'm just going to draw a curve like that. And I might want to lower this down just a tad bit. I'm going to have this, this rat rod ride a little bit low. So that's the bottom of the vehicle for now. And then uh, once I edited that curve, I lost the sketch plane. No worries, you can tap and hold on that curve and get the sketch plane back. So you can see where we can still sketch on the same plane. And these curves that I'm drawing are just an outline. They're just kind of to, to give a, a rough estimate of how I want the vehicle to look. And then after that, we can add more details and work with the curves. So let's just draw another curve for the roof. It's maybe a little too curvy, but that's okay. Tone it down just a tad bit. And then we can draw something from the back. Now, I might actually have this curving up, so I'm going to pull this out just a little bit more. And then I'm going to draw a curve like that. So before I do that, that would be in the center. Tap and hold on this curve. I get my ske uh, sketch plane back. And I'm just going to draw a curve that kind of comes down like that. All right. Same thing for the front window. I'm actually going to draw a straight line like that. And then for the front cowl, line like this. And I'll have this, put another sketch plane here, and I'm going to draw a curve like that. Now I'm going to edit this just a little bit. I'm not really a huge fan of that, but there we go. So something, something like that. So I'm just laying this out for now. This is just kind of a, a test. And the main reason I'm doing this is I'm going to need to position some things, but it's a good idea to just kind of roughly sketch out in 3D space the overall shape of your vehicle. You can test some things out that way, make sure that the proportions look good, make sure that things look good uh, the way that you want. I'm not a huge fan of how this looks right now. So I might actually change the way this curve works. And I might actually kick this forward. There we go. And then the other thing I might do, or I'm going to try, is I'm going to turn symmetry off really quick. I'm just going to connect the bases, the base of the windshield, the windscreen here. So two sketch planes. There we go. It's connected. Oh. 
tap and hold, tap and hold, and then just sketch a curve. There we go. So now we have a windshield and it gives us an idea when we connect it of what that might look like. Now I can always make this narrower in the future, but for now uh, you can start seeing that this is taking shape, starting to look pretty interesting. Last thing I'm going to do is draw kind of a window shape. Go back to the side view. So if we were to draw a window, would it look like that? That looks pretty cool. And then maybe that's a little too modern, but we can change this curve, edit this curve again, simply by tapping the edit button. And maybe I'll bring this point up. There we go. So that's starting to look pretty cool. And now our rat rod is starting to take shape. The last thing I'm going to do is come in and kind of put a placeholder for a grill. So I'm going to go to the side view and I'll put the grill right about here. So I'll tap and hold. That makes the sketch plane there. And then I'll orbit around again and go to the front view. Symmetry is on. And so I'll draw a shape. Oh, symmetry is off right now. My bad. There we go. Symmetry is now on. And so I'll draw a shape for the grill. There we go. Definitely going to need a little bit of editing here. Maybe pull out or delete one or two control points, but Now this shape can be whatever you want it. I'm making this kind of a shield, but it can be, you could bank this into something a little bit more simple. An oval if you want, just kind of a square, whatever shape you want. I'm just gonna go with something kind of dynamic and aggressive like that. And then lastly, I might want to have some headlights, so I'll make another sketch plane point from the side, orbit around, and just draw two circles. They should auto correct. There we go, just like that. And there would be the headlights. So there you have it. That is a rough outline for the rat rod and this will help you kind of be able to move forward. So uh, everything that we just drew here is just kind of a sketch. It's just, it's just to kind of figure things out. You can come in, you can edit the curves a little bit, and you can kind of figure out how things look, how things fit, because after that, uh, we're going to start adding more details, and you'll want to have a rough idea of, of what you uh, want the vehicle to look like. This will help you get there. I hope this tutorial was helpful and fun. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter channels. And uh, go at it. Do your sketch. Do your wheels. Show us what you are working on in the community. We'll give you some feedback. And we can't wait to see what kind of rat rod you start creating. Take care, guys. Good luck.